Wheatman Drive, we end up off-roading in fields. <laughs> Where the hell, you know, if a farmer catches us, he's gonna go mad. Hey, it was your idea. Where are we? Baby rabbit. We are out of mistakes. Taking videos of baby rabbits while you cuddle in your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said taking videos of baby rabbits while you cuddle in your pillow. So what? I like to, I like to drive in comfort. <laughs> drive? You've not drove. Okay, I like to relax in the back while being chauffeured in comfort. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so first on the agenda again. So first on the agenda is this. Is it just a lookout tower? Basically, this airfield. I'll give you all the information when we get in. Basically, we're going to get in there first. I'll give you information. I'll tell you exactly what we're doing here. Today we are at this abandoned airport. So I'm not actually sure if this was commercial planes or if it was just private planes, but right now I'm stood in the radio tower. Now, the real reason we're here isn't for this abandoned uh, radio tower. Um, although it is really cool and there's a lot of history behind it, we're here for something in the background. From 2008 to 2010, I think it was, the UK did a scrappage scheme where basically you could scrap your old banger in. This is a quote, your old banger. You had to own it for 12 months. It had to be over, I think it was 15 years old, 10 or 15 years old, and they would give you 2,000 pound of a brand new car. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'm not crying. I've just got a really bad hair fever today. So people was encouraged to, to scrap in their old cars. So in the background, at one point, there was about three to 4,000 bangers. Now most of these bangers were things like a BMW E28, BMW E30s, Jaguars, Porsche 944s, Lam Rovers, old Astra GTEs, Nova GTEs, Peugeot 205 GTIs, old Mercedes 190E, Cosworths, and the list goes on. There is, there was just hundreds and hundreds of cars that was included in the scrappy scheme. Now, I've flown the drone over. Here's a quick clip of the drone. As you can see there, there's probably about 100 to 200 cars. Now, at one point, there was thousands of these cars. From what I've seen so far from flying the drone over, there might only be a couple hundred of these classic cars left. Now, I don't, even, I don't know what they're doing with them. I don't know if they're stripping them. I don't know if they're saving them. I don't know what, but when you scrap your car, it gets scrapped. That was it, end of, it was meant to go. But there's still some left. So we're gonna go and try and get across, uh, across the electric fence, across, all these brand new cars, for some reason, there's tons of brand new cars here. I don't know if they're storing them here or what, I don't know if it's some kind of allotment or if it's for auctions. But after we've finished here, it's probably gonna be a separate video trying to get across to those cars. Keys to everything. Huh? Keys to everything. Got the same Yeah. Bulk your fuel house domestic sign. Keys to the guys. That's the list, isn't it? The garage. Titan Limited. No idea. 
I've got quite a light that floor in there. It's all concrete, isn't it? Is it? It's an apparatus room right downstairs. The top layer comes off the floor. Yeah, it is. All them top layers move. No, it is just water. What? It's like a secret floor there. I'll go to the top. Yeah, Someone's chucked a safe down. Wow, what that shit? Huh? What's up here? That takes turds, that thing. Fucked. Wow. Now them stairs aren't safe, Bucky. <laughs> now I wasn't expecting to look like this. So please bear with me because my hay fever is killing me the past couple of days. Our pollen count is so high right now and it is killing me literally. I'm just sneezing to death. So uh, in here we have the old control tower. This is where people would sit, radio through to all the incoming planes, tell them if it was clear. You know this was a, a major, major part of the uh, of the airport obviously because without this place you wouldn't know how to direct the traffic you wouldn't know who was coming in as you can see they've got little lights uh, arrival so that was when a plane was coming in but this <laughs> it's been taken over by animals just look at the state so we're going to work our way down through the different layers of this watchtower because i know they did do some kind of wind tunnel experiments here as well but this looks like it's about to fall through i'm going to fall through this about you so yeah as you can see outside as well thousands upon thousands upon thousands of cars in the background and the cars we've got to get to are right over there so that's going to be interesting So 
so we have this part as well I'm not sure if this was used for the same bit as you can see it's so old I don't know when it was last used I think it's something like 2011 but this looks like it's been abandoned for a lot longer than that and I'm not going to put my gimbal on just yet I'll put the gimbal on when I get to the cars and then save the battery as the gimbal not much to see there I want to find the wind tunnel and as we stand right now I'm at 70,000 subscribers last time like two well, it might have been about four or five videos ago now but I said that I'd probably be at about 40,000 subscribers when a certain video went up I was at 65,000 that is that is absolutely crazy I had no idea I would get to that level and that's because of the Area 51 video that went up that went viral it's had over a million views you know a lot of people thought that I was some kind of crazy nut job UFO guy you know I just do videos <laughs> you know I'm not I like conspiracies but that wasn't the aim of the video I think a lot of people took that video the wrong way but yeah so I was I'm at 70,000 right now as I'm making this video if you could smash that subscribe button if you haven't already I would appreciate it so much because I'm trying to get to 100,000 and when I get to 100,000 like I keep saying I'm gonna do something I've got a few really crazy ideas in mind plus I'm also gonna do a giveaway as well I'm gonna give away some merchandise and some other bits and bats Obviously because 100,000 is such an achievement. I feel like being really generous and giving away loads of stuff. And as always, stop what you're doing right now and just hit that like button. Show your support, it helps us so much. Like or dislike, it doesn't matter. It helps so much, so smash one of them. I don't know where then to have gone to. I took the road mic out for a bit just because it seems to be quite bassy when I've got the road mic on inside, so I'm only going to plug the road mic on when I go outside. Let me know what you think of the audio right now. This is without the road mic. <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs in the Met Office. It goes down a few floors. No unauthorised admittance. I think I've been authorised. I don't know what this place was. Floors feel funny though. These look like laboratory benches. This could be the old test lab. I don't know what for, why would you need a test lab inside a radio tower? Got a lot of burn marks on here as well. These are just like little offices. Office, nothing of interest. Old telephone books. And this is in the opposite side to that little room there. This looks like again some kind of test lab, but look at that. What decay. I'm really suffering today. I've taken tablets as well. Okay, so it looks like they were coming from the future. Um, that one well into the future. I wonder what it's like in 2345. Hmm. And the clock has stopped at 25 to 10. Made a weird noise out there. Just an empty office. 
Oh wow, look at that. Looks like it could be off the top of the um, building. That red light. That's really cool. That's heavy too. Nothing of interest there. Uh, Sanding towel. A what? What do we call them? A lady pad. Yeah. Ten, ten p for a lady pad. I wouldn't know anything about that, Wheatland. No, but it's ten p. What? I've never seen one of them machines in my life. Well, how many women's bathrooms are you going? Yeah, valid point. Valid point. Nothing at all, guys. Nothing worth showing you anyway at all. Quite disappointing, actually. Yeah. Oh wait, so it's closed in 1994. Failed bus conductor. Don't think you can use that anymore. Now, let me get a light on that because that, from my point of view, is lime green. I was yellow on the camera though. Ah, let's go and find Bucky. <laughs> you made me jump then. I'm still watching. You made me jump. <laughs> Poor Bucky. I didn't want to do it while you're doing your outro. Yeah. What was that? Oh. That's an interesting contraption you've got on your chest. Show me carrying form. So I take it you do videos if you've got that on you. What, what would your what channel would be? be? What, what would your channel be? <laughs> Come on, what was it? I would not eat that, smell that. No, no, what are you doing? I don't want to smell that. That's the thing, you've got flight plans and stuff, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. There'll probably be what's coming in from what country? Manchester, Birmingham, Bradford. But that's, that's uh, pre-apocalyptic, that's post-apocalyptic where, where <laughs> this bit's been wiped out. <laughs> it disappeared. <laughs> So I think that's it for this place. This place wasn't very big, uh, but depending on how long this video is going to be, I'm probably going to blend it up and put the cars in as well because we're going to go trying to get across them cars. So if we don't get across, it's going to be what funny and attempting to anyway. Oh, and I've got a filter oh, on this oh, lens now. Oh. I don't know if you've noticed the difference. I put a UV filter on. Let me know if you notice the difference. Oh, yeah. Look, he's not smoking um, rollies anymore. He's on. He's on an e-cigarette. Oh, oh look, look, he just vanished. <laughs> you didn't see him walk through at all. So after much walking, we finally, finally got here. Look at all the beetles. I didn't even see all them. It's an RS as well. 1.6 GTI. It's the old minis. Mark 1 GTIs. Golf Mark 1. Oh, oh, oh,